Hello creative people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zenaida and this is Fashion with Zenai, a place to inspire your fashion lovers, to share my love for fashion and DIY projects. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slip dress. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need these following tools. You can find all these materials in the description box down below. I'm going to use a viscous fabric. I have one and a half meter of the fabric. It has a little shine which makes the fabric very elegant. To create the dress, you're going to need a pattern. There is a digital pattern of the slip dress on my Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description box. I'm going to create the dress with the pattern size XS which is equal as size 34. This pattern has 5 pattern pieces. You're going to place the front piece on top of the fabric fold and cut out one piece. Place the inner facing of the back on the fabric fold and cut out one piece. The last two pattern pieces are for the loops and the straps. Cut two pieces for the loops and two pieces for the straps. I added one and a half centimeter seam allowance on all edges of the front piece, back piece and facing back piece. Add one centimeter seam on all edges of the loops and the straps. You're going to place the strap on the fabric fold so you can have a length of 140 cm for size XS in my case. Once you cut out the pieces, you can start sewing the pieces together. This is the front piece with the good side of the fabric facing up. Place the back piece on top of the front piece with the good side of the fabric facing down. Connect the side edges together. Sew the sides with one and a half centimeter seam. Then you're going to press the side seam to make it look flat. Then you're going to overlock the side seam. If you don't have an overlock machine, you can use a normal sewing machine and use the zigzag stitch. This is the part where I trim the seam when I'm overlocking the edges. This is the overlocked edges. This is the facing piece for the back facing. Overlock the bottom edge first, then you're going to overlock the upper edge of the front facing. Connect the front and back facing pieces together. Place the back facing piece on top of the front facing with the good side of the fabric facing together. Make sure that the bottom edge of the back facing is facing up. Sew the side edges from the armhole corner until the bottom edge of the front facing edge. Somehow I didn't film how I folded the facing of the front and how I connected the armhole and the back facing to the back. So I'm sorry for that, but I'm gonna try to explain how I did that. First you have to sew these edges and once you sew on it, you're going to connect the facing to the shell fabric. So here is where the fold line is. You're going to grab the front facing Fold the front, connect the facing with the right sides of the fabric together. Make sure you connect the armhole facing and the back facing to the armhole and back edge of the shell fabric. This is the loop which you're going to connect on the corner side of the armhole. I already folded it in half and I ironed it flat. You're going to sew the edge with one centimeter seam. These are the two straps that I folded in half and I ironed it flat. 
Sew the edges with one centimeter seam. Trim the seam. This makes it much easier to invert the straps. To invert the loops and the straps, I'm using a bobby pin. Cut a small hole to place the bobby pin. Invert the straps. Once you invert the loops and the straps, you're going to press it to make it look flat. This is how it should look like. You're going to connect the armhole edge and the back edge together. Before you pin them together, you need to insert the loops and the straps to the dress. I already placed them on one side, but I'm going to show you how to place them. I used a safety pin to insert the straps. Take the long straps and insert them to the front of the dress against the fold of the neckline. This is along the armhole edge. Make sure the seam of the strap is facing the facing piece. Place the loop against the corner of the armhole. Fold the loop with the seam together and place it exactly on the armhole corner. I measured and marked the 2 cm loop so that I only stitch the seam. Take into account the 1.5 cm seam of the armhole corner. Go down 1.5 cm seam to place the loop among the side edge. Don't pay too much attention to my loop length because I cut it longer than it has to be. I think my loop is now 1.5 cm longer. So you should keep in mind that the loop should be 4 cm long without the seam allowance. If you cut the loop with the correct length including seam allowance, the loop shouldn't stick out on the side like mine does. So here is where the straps and loops should be placed. Sew the armhole edge and the back edge with 1.5 cm seam. Once you sew the edges, it should look like this. Press the seam to make it look flat, then cut some slides around the curvy back edge. Turn the dress over. You're going to press the neckline edge and side flat for a clean look. Top stitch the back facing seam along the seam. This is how the top stitch along the seam should look like. Now you're going to insert the straps to the loop opening. Tie a knot at the end of the straps. The last thing you're going to do is to finish off the hem. 
double fold it and sew it with one centimeter seam. And this is the finished slip dress. I just love how it turned out. It looks very elegant and beautiful. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and find it helpful so you can create your own slip dress. If you create one, don't forget to send me your photo and you can tag me on Instagram by using the hashtag ZenEyeDesigns. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up share, comment, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and hit the notification bell. I see you next time. Have a blessed day. Bye bye.